I'm Jenny Marchetto. I'm an interdisciplinary artist and educator, born in Athens, Greece, and based in New York City. Inspired by my Mediterranean heritage, I would like to invite you to Future in Waters, a speculative manifesto for the rights of water for Elefsina. As part of Elefsina, cultural capital of Europe, I was invited to create a project which has been very much related with my practice in New York, but also in my current interest, how we communicate through our body, through our knowledge, through our experiences with the water. Future in Waters for the Rights of Elefsina is, is taking place in the former Anapsicterio, in the coastline of Elefsina. It is uh, a living, collaborative series of workshops, assemblies, and public discussions to share ideas, concerns, joys, responsibilities, traditions, cultural memories and histories, climate emergencies, and aspirations to develop our prime relationship with the water into a sustainable one. I invited participants from all over the world to form a knowledge production and to create and share with us non-human perspectives through a range of artworks, prompts, and experiences which extend past the walls of the Anapsicterio, and they take place outside, next to the water, in the water, and especially with my last uh, workshop, the um, hatchery actually took place in Glicha. The, the second part of Future in Waters is going to take place in September, and that's going to be a publication under the, the title Manifesto for the Rights of Water of Elefsina, as well as a, an exhibit in which we are going to feature a few things that, are, that they took place during the workshops. I'm also planning to do my own project, which is going to be an intervention in the waters of Liha, and hopefully this will be able to, uh, to engage the whole community of Elefsina in realizing some speculative ways and how I'm using speculative design in creating public artworks and, es and especially to create this huge um, reef made out of oysters. I am Blanca de la Torre, a curator from Spain working in the intersection of uh, art and ecology. We have a very heterogeneous group of people uh, here, like from the fine arts school to this um, amazing soccer team, Beaver Hill, and uh, they all have different backgrounds as well. And um, what we've been doing here is focusing on um, ecofeminism and the relationship of uh, ecofeminism and water and hydrofeminisms and um, we've been also like thinking of uh, more empathic ways to coexist with other uh, non-human species we've been also rethinking classical greek myths in terms of also interspecies communication 
uh, and work in uh, creating new artworks, um, thinking in terms of the commons and uh, collective action as well, in order to express the rights of water and express new ways of, I don't know, developing uh, languages or new languages that uh, might connect with um, sustainability and water sustainability and that's why we've been doing a lot of uh, water thinking and water performativity as well. There's a lot of uh, improvisation as well on this, so we just played a football uh, match, for instance. Uh, so yeah, improvisation and speculation is, is, is very important, as well as it's very important to rethink old narratives and old myths that we've been uh, growing up with in order to be able to create um, uh, futures that think about water and um, the agency of water and uh, uh, the idea of, of the water rights as um, uh, something that we will get in the upcoming future, hopefully. It was very important for us to involve the local community in Alefsina and so we got that not only with some of the participants of the workshop but also with some actions like the, the football match or with the soccer team that we just had. Hello, my name is Eleni Riga. I'm a visual arts curator. I'm collaborating with Jenny Marchetto on her project, Future in Waters. Uh, this is the conclusion of a two-day workshop entitled Reclaim the Myth. Uh, we re-examined and reappropriated the myth of the matter and Persephone from the side of ecofeminism. We had a brief theoretical introduction uh, to the academic and grassroots movement of ecofeminism. And uh, the second day, we uh, focused on the local traditions, the local knowledge of ecofeminism, stemming uh, from the myth of Persephone and Demeter in Elefsina. Today, we had the chance to work uh, with uh, students from Elefsina. Uh, and we examined uh, bodies of water that we don't usually think uh, that are related with uh, food and plants, plants uh, that can be consumed, that can be eaten. Uh, so we examined different categories and with uh, them uh, we created the rain sticks. So you have uh, some bottles uh, that are behind me, uh, recycled water bottles, uh, that on the top of them uh, there's a drawing made from the students uh, that describes a superhero or their super capacity in order to face climate changes. 
and uh, they're filled with the seeds that we have chosen because they need very little water to grow. And we made them into uh, rain sticks. Rain sticks uh, that are a, an ancient uh, music uh, instrument from different traditions uh, to call the rain, to bring the rain to the earth. The seeds that we have examined today, they're seeds that need very little water and they're possibly a sustainable solution to the problems that humanity and other bodies of water will face in the future. We made a call uh, to other bodies of water to help us bring the rain and cultivate the land. Uh, so in the end of the workshop, we made our own dance uh, to call the rain to come to the earth. So it's an eco-feminist solution to eco-feminist problems. Hello, my name is Denis Maximov Gupta. I am an independent curator and I'm running workshops uh, called Hydropolitical, Water Sovereignty, the Imaginary, and Gaia Politics uh, during four days uh, in the framework of the Elefsina uh, Capital of Culture program 2023. And during these four days, we work with um, four different groups of people. First two days we work with schools um, where we uh, tried to translate the concept of idea, political imaginary, through the uh, workshop activities and through creation of the common scroll of storytelling, departing from the idea of the ancient Greek bard and ancient Greek future teller, Mantes or Aidos, and uh, empowering kids in thinking and imagining that they can rethink and restructure the politics that surrounds them right now, and they can redo the, that design in accordance with what we right now know about the biosphere, what we are now, right now know about the ecology and interdependence in between of the uh, different spheres of our world that create life and that make life possible. Where the kids were drawing the uh, different sea creatures, the parts of the different sea creatures that could constitute that deity that represents the agency of the hydropolitics, the agency of the sea to be part of that common ecology. And then they collected them into this very beautiful mosaic, uh, a sort of a assemblage that created in itself an image of the world, an image of the world with the water in the center of it. And this engagement created the pano of possibility and pano again of imagination that could view on the future of politics that is not landlocked. The second day we worked with uh, Roma kids from the surrounding areas of Elefsina. We activated their creativity on imagining what would be the representation of that ecology through the idea of the common deity or the common representation of the sea. And we created that beautiful many meters long scroll as a sort of a narrative story that is uh, communicated in the pictograms and words. And uh, uh, the main important element in this workshop was to again highlight that the future does not belong to the present. The future belongs to these kids and they are capable in restructuring, to restructure what we imagine as a, imagine as a possibility of politics. In the following two days, I will present the hydropo hydropolitics from rather more of a theoretical perspective uh, of its relation with uh, the concept of geopolitics, with the emergence of geopolitics, with, it, with its transformation over the last centuries, its transformation into the concepts of nationalism, concept of the nation state, emergence of the concept of the nation state, imperialism, and the way of, of approaching the whole Gaia, the earth, as rather as, uh, as an object and as a, as a extractive resource, collective extractive resource. 
and how we continue to live with this concept of politics, despite the fact, again, that in the last 50, 60 years, especially, we learned way more scientifically about the interdependency of all the spheres of the world and the impossibility to lock our political imaginary in, our, in the way we, pr we, we produce politics, the way we do things, the way we, we mine resources, the way we build relationships between one another, between our communities, political, social, and so on. We, in relation to the biosphere and in relation to the ecology that uh, basically is withering and that disappearing in front of our eyes, our eyes because of our uh, lack of desire to rethink the political design of the world that we live in. And basically, in summary, that what the workshops of, um, of the following two days will be about. But the workshop part as well would contain in the attempt to create the um, basically site-specific manifesto, hydro-political manifesto, uh, in response to the domination of geopolitics from the point of local point of view of Elefsina. Water is it's a military space, the, the locals do not really have access to this water, it's very polluted as well, and Elefsina locally is uh, uh, staging a great example as well for the cities all around the world in the way of their engagement with the spheres that surround them and that create uh, life as a possible, um, as, a, as, a, as, as a possibility and as an as a opportunity. My name is not important. What is important is that we were talking about environmental personhood today. How uh, much sense would it be to establish environmental personhood for Elefsina or for the Kifisos River around Academia Platonos? And uh, this is related to the protagonists of these drawings, which are living in remote communities which think that Europe is not cool, which don't need the external decolonizers to decolonize themselves, but they live a life worth living. Their inventions of grounding, of uh, remembering their ancestral knowledge and further developing it were our inspiration for our own workshop. We gathered and called the spirit of Kali Roy Paren, the uh, first feminist of Greece, who said that this is a lake of diamonds. We've learned about her today by our guest, who is an environmental activist of Elefsina, whom Jenny Marchetto has kindly invited. We called her spirit, and it was um, a very beautiful shared moment. Uh, we were asking her for inspiration and we lit an incense, a very beautiful Indian incense from Ramakrishna. And we had a feeling that her spirit was with us at this very moment when we gathered. And the voice of the water spoke through us. So we were not writing the draft of the law, but we were asking for the inspiration for the future draft of the law, which we hope to write together with the people of Elefsina. In our collective text, we, for example, attributed the status of a subject to the non-laughing rock, which is a rock on which Demetra is sitting and waiting for Persephone. And for me personally, this rock has shown the revelation of the very fact that the myths are a matter of real experience, that they refer to geography. And therefore, with our text, we invited Persephone to come out to the balcony of the world and to join us imagining new myths. Chris, oh, hey, Dan, he got on every run. 
Svivon, nedzīk te lato, makaira para limna glita, hersig lavka selejas frigos, ozonena go.